use our son to find our next baby daddy or baby mama. So, you know, that's not something I planned to do. What's up everyone? I'm Kelsey and I'm single. So I thought it would be funny if I tried the occult baby challenge. It's a challenge in the Sims 4 where you have one regular human matriarch and you're supposed to have occult babies with all of the occults of the Sims 4. I'm mixing together two different rules. So if you're interested in those, those will be linked below. Last time we finally got pregnant with a robot. And this time we will be trying to make acquaintances with some island spirits, you know? It's gonna be fun. But first, we gotta have our baby and kick some more kids out. We're back in the family. We got Quinn, who's grumpy and wants to go to bed. We currently have only occult kids in the house. I'm kind of missing our non-occult babe, Ariel, a little bit. And Jack over here, he did finish baking. So he's all done. Oh my gosh, Chelsea's healthy lifestyle's at risk because she keeps eating cookies. Listen, girl, you can have a treat every now and then again, okay? Nothing wrong with that. So I'm pretty sure to make ambrosia, I think you need a level 10 cooking skill which we already have with Chelsea. Oh, we need to level 10 gourmet cooking. We're a level one. Well, we might just cheat it. But in the meantime, we could try. We will make caprese salad. That sounds like a healthy option here. And she's hungry. So salad queen is upgrading to a gourmet salad. She's very happy. Look at Jack. He's just partying carefree, like super happy. He got his skills up. He's like, I do not need to be holly or jolly. I just need to be me. You know, he's learned so many life lessons along the way. Okay, we reached level two of gourmet cooking. Chelsea, why don't you box a little bit? Oh my God, shit's in the snow. Never mind, Chelsea. No, 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 no. Don't go out in the storm. I forgot. I guess we'll just keep doing gourmet meals here. Let's do a tofu chicken salt and boca. We'll just keep making like meals for the kids. That way we'll almost never run out. Oh God. No, thank you. I don't want to be best friends. Why don't we just become friends? I just think it's going to be better in the long haul. Ever since escaping that painting, he really has changed his style. He's still very very sad though. And we're also sad pretty much just being around him. And look who's home and the kids. All right, B students and Merlin's a B student. Good job, Merlin. You got your grades up, proud of you. Look at you all. Sebastian didn't get an A. Okay, he's like a pretty not great student apparently. How you doing, Leaf? Oh, Leaf is very tense. Leaf's like, I'm gonna go take a shower. Poor guy. How's Hayden? Hayden's just chilling. He's hanging out, needs some fun. Why don't you watch some TV? Oh my gosh, sad clown man. This is your daughter, Quinn. So, you know, it's fine that you came to visit, but not my favorite visitor. Oh my gosh, you broke it. Well, someone's got to repair this. I vote Jack. Merlin's doing pretty well. Go take a little speedy shower over here, Merlin. And then why don't you do your homework since you're now a B student? Thanks, I should be getting going. Okay, goodbye, sad clown man. Please don't continue to darken our doorstep. Sebastian, why don't you go swim some laps, okay? Get your pool time in. There he goes. Feeling good and energized. And I think he's almost to level five. He's there. All right. He's good to go to age up now. We're getting his fun up though by swimming. And I did see some of your guys' suggestions about maybe adding this as an extension to the house. I like that idea. I'm going to fix it up a little bit on stream. So next time you see it, it'll be better. The kids are doing their homework, which is good. Leaf is having fun. Can you do your homework, please, Leaf? And then what is he good at? He's pretty good at flower arranging. So we might have Leaf do another flower arrangement to work on his skills here. And Sebastian's decided to go to bed. Okay, Leaf is doing his homework. Hayden's doing his homework. Merlin is in bed. Good for you, Merlin. Although we need to level up your skills here. You're only to level three. We need you to level four. Quinn, why don't you get up and eat some food here and we'll have Jack give you a bath. Thanks, Jack. No, don't eat a cookie. Please eat like food food, okay? I'd prefer you to eat the salad. Quinn, Quinn was trying to eat a cookie. God, she stinks so bad. But I'm proud of these two for doing their homework. Hayden, did you finish? You did. He needs to complete a skill. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, it's looking like it's sprouting. That's so cool. There's not a lot he gets to do with gardening right now. Maybe we should like buy a book so we can read up on it. G for gardening. We'll get a flower arranging book too. All right, why don't you read our gardening one? Hayden, work on your skills here. Leaf is finishing up his homework. He completed it. Okay, why don't you arrange another little flower arrangement and then go to bed? Leaf is like, I'm coming. I'm gonna go arrange some flowers for mom. Oh, those flowers look beautiful, Leaf. Hayden's reading up on gardening. What 
What kings? Quinn is upset. She's so dirty. Come here. Go give Quinn a bath. Hey, Quinn, do you want a bath? She's like, yes, I'm desperate for one. My skin feels disgusting. Pretty sure you can smell me from across the room. Hurry, brother dearest. It's urgent. It's urgent. Leaf's now in bed, our good boy. Maybe we should change this into a greenhouse full time now since we don't really need this for Sebastian's skill, but I kind of feel guilty about taking away a mermaid's pool while he's still in the house. So we'll see. Okay, Quinn, it's time for you to age up. Let's potty train you, Quinn. Jack will potty train you because Jack loves potty training. Right, Jack? Right. And then you, Hayden, you need to finish your fitness, but you also need to go to bed because you're tired. Wait, Leaf just woke up to react to puberty changes. Oh no, Leaf. Why don't you apply some facial cleanser? How's Quinn doing? Quinn is getting potty trained at 2 a.m. You got this. She's almost a kid. Oh my gosh, come on. You're almost level three on everything. Quinn, Quinn. All right, go potty on your own. You can do it. You can finish it off yourself. Come on, Quinn. Yeah, Quinn just reached level three of the potty skill. Oh my gosh, we can age up our baby Quinn. Everyone is asleep, so that's not like great. However, Jack is up and he can help her blow out the candles. So I'm just gonna get it done. It's a nice little 4 a.m. birthday. It's gonna be fine. Jack and her, it's all good. Happy birthday, Quinn. Although nothing can beat this look. This is a good look for Quinn. I don't know if we can really beat that. All right, here she goes. Yee! Aged up. Creative. Okay, creative is good. She was inquisitive as a child, so maybe she'll be a mental kid. Very Harley Quinn of her, you know? Dr. Harleen Quinn. Let's modify her and Kaz and see what she looks like. Well, hello, Harley. Looking cute. I think these are my favorite pigtails, so we're gonna go with these. She looks a little, like, mischievous already, which I kind of love. Let's go red and black. I kind of want to do the classic Harley Quinn looks. Okay, that one's okay. It's looking a little whimsical. So this is my final look for Quinn. She's looking very cute. We have her daytime, her sleepy time, her party time. There is our aged up Quinn, which means she gets to kind of move upstairs into the extra room with Merlin until these kids get out of my house and give me more rooms. I'm gonna have Jack, you know, do all the work for me, clean up, fix toilets, wash the toddler potties. Oh, and Harley's already in here doing her homework next to the beach, working hard. Ooh, it's Winterfest today, so I don't think they're going into school, which is not great. I kind of want you to go into school today. It's fine. Oh, wait, that means that we're gonna see Santa today. Oh my gosh. Should we decorate for the holiday? I feel like it'd be weird if we don't. Oh, of course he loves festive spirit, presents. He doesn't care about the meal, and of course he loves Father Winter. That's his dad. My dad visits one day a year, the same day he visits everyone else. That's rough, buddy. Quinn has finished her homework. Why don't you take a little nap, Quinn? It's only 7 a.m. You might as well nap it off. Merlin is working in his imagination, which is good. He needs a skill up. And his creativity is one of his higher skills. Sebastian's having a cookie for breakfast. The Peach May breakfast of champions. And we're feeling pretty good. Well, we can delete this so we can make room for maybe a tree. Here we go. We got a little evergreen tree for the kids this year. No one say we didn't decorate, okay? We put Holly out. We got a tree. Everything is beautiful. Jack does not care about decor. He is not a decor boy. He's gonna get up and get some breakfast. Leaf is still asleep, but Hayden's coming down the stairs. Merlin is dancing up a storm. Why don't you chat in a kid's chat room, work on your socialization skill? Since you're feeling playful, might be a good idea. Oh no! Hayden, oh no, he peed himself. What happened, Hayden? Why didn't you go to the bathroom? All right, mop that up and then go take a shower. Poor guy, feeling rough. Leaf is feeling great. He's having a bubble bath. Chelsea's feeling good. She's also having a bath. Everyone's doing well. Why don't you, Chelsea, cook a grand meal for the family? We'll do a ham dinner. Sounds delicious. Ooh, wow, she's looking so big. Oh my gosh. Second trimester. Ooh, we'll be having a baby any day now. Probably tomorrow. She's cooking this beautiful ham dinner for the gang. Look at these two. So funny. Leaf is chilling. He needs some fun. Why don't you watch TV while you eat? Enjoy some time here. I love them rocking in the rocking chair. So cute. Everyone else is up right now. Why don't our son, who is the son of Nicholas himself, light the tree with everyone? He's like, come on. He's like gathering everyone together to light the tree. Everyone get in. Ah! 
stuff. Nice. Okay, let's decorate with garland. Let's do some popcorn and cranberries. That's kind of my favorite, honestly. Let's do ornaments, red and gold. So all the kids together are gonna decorate the tree. And here is the grand meal. We'll put it here for now. We'll grab everybody to go to the grand meal a little later. Look at them decorating the tree, having such a good time. Getting into the festive spirit, all of them. Very good job, kids. Everyone's having so much fun decorating the tree, getting into the festive spirit, putting on the toppers. Aww. Oh, and little Quinn is like, I got in a fight with someone at school about which boy critter is more powerful. She hasn't even gone to school yet. So girl, no, you haven't. It was probably Merlin. She seems like she's lying. I said it was the Articorn, but he kept saying Sudator. Which one is it? I feel like Chelsea would be like, they're equally powerful. You and Merlin can, you know, like different characters, but they probably are the same. It's fine. This tree is looking fantastic. Does it match the decor? Not exactly. I think I went for like a more of green, yellow, blue <laughs> thing, and I did not do that for this tree, but it is fine. All right, Chelsea, go put the presents under the tree for the kids. Why don't you sing together, okay? Hobble Florfna. We'll sing it with the whole family. We're gonna sing Christmas carols, eat our Christmas cookies made by our lovely Jack. This sounds like happy birthday. Okay. Yep. I don't quite get it, but okay. Oh my God. Jack just fell asleep while they were singing Christmas carols. It's shocking to me that Jack just falls asleep sitting up. Everyone's having their grand meal here. Or at least I thought we were all having our grand meal, but half of you decided to eat cookies instead. But hopefully it all counts. So it's fine. Sebastian's angry from fear of unfulfilled dreams. Okay. Well, he wants to level up his fitness skill. He's like, I've been eating too much cookies. I'm worried about my fitness skill. Okay. Why don't you swim some angry laps out? outside then, okay? Take it out in the pool. He's so cold when he walks outside to the pool and then he's good again. There you go, buddy. Work on your laps. Now he's happy. He's like, I'm in my pool and I'm happy. It's nice and warm. I love it in here. Okay, let's have everybody open presents. Now that our boy is feeling a little bit better. So we're gathering around. Oh, I love when he does his rude dolphin noises. Oh, Leaf got a carrot as a gift, but he's not very happy about it. But I'm like, Leaf, that makes sense because then you could plant it. Oh, wow. Apparently Hayden wanted a pen pal for Christmas. So he posted on the pen pal for him. Sebastian received a deluxe crisper. Okay. He likes it. Good for him. Oh, it looks like Merlin opened his. There's a flea market bubble bobble. Bubble bottle. He liked it. Okay. Quinn's next. And she got a boo boo Billy doctor play set. She likes it. Oh, good for you, sweetheart. Oh, Jack got a carrot. He did not like it. And Chelsea got an enormous trial bite. Okay. Fantastic. Did everyone get a gift? Oh, it looks like Hayden hasn't gotten a gift yet. Open a present. He got a Zen yoga mat. Fantastic. Everybody had a lovely present time. He's so tired. I don't know why he's so tired. Oh yeah. Cause I kept him up taking care of Quinn. These two already went to sleep as well. The boys are like, we're tired. So we went to bed. Merlin's having a cup of juice. I think he's waiting up for Santa. And so is Quinn. And of course, Jack is sleeping, but ready for Santa. He's like, I want my dad to show up here. Oh, look at all the presents that they have. It's so cute. When is Santa gonna arrive? I'm like nervous, but excited at the same time. Oh, he's bonding with his mom. So cute. Oh wait, we didn't invite the rest of the kids over for Christmas. Call the gathering. The impeachers, my children are on their way. I forgot. Come on kids. And Santa's here. Oh my God. And Greg Jr. is human. Oh my God, Greg Jr. is fully raging, but he's here. He's ready to go. He's fixing the fridge while raging. Where did Santa go? Hello? Oh, Santa's upstairs in the room with the mom. Okay, wait, you gotta go see your dad here. Go belly laugh with your dad, okay? Don't fall asleep. My poor boy, Quinn, come say hi to Santa and Merlin, come say hi to Santa. Oh, he's trying to flirt with Chelsea and then his son Jack is just passing out. We tried to let you sleep. Why didn't you sleep while I asked you to before your dad came? Oh. Oh no. Well, Merlin, come on, Santa's here. Quinn just met Santa. Give him a Winterfest gift. Yeah, give him your spoiled milk, Quinn. Great job, great idea. And all the kids are very excited about Santa. He's singing a nice little song. Good job. And Lilith is even singing a celebratory Christmas song. Okay, Quinn's giving a gift to Santa. He's like, for me? She's like, it is. He's gonna be mad. He's like, it was fine. It was a good gift. Thank you, little girl. I don't think he knows the milk is spoiled. Oh my God. 
God, stop it. No, no. <gasps> ooh, ooh. Oh my God. No, 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 no. My firstborn, my special boy. Greg Jr. is dead and Grim is here. No, we got to plead for him. No, 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 no. Not my Greg Jr. No, 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 no. Please, 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 please. Demand. Chelsea, now. Teleport. Maybe he'll like your little like panache, you know? Please. Be like, you, sir, give my son back right now. He's a good boy, okay? I demand you give my son back at once. He said no. <gasps> he said no. Oh my God, Greg Jr. just got electrocuted and died. I am cursed. Oh my God. Look, I never knew that the urn would look different for werewolves. Oh my God, everyone's calling. Death is inevitable. Jack knows that. Jack just didn't think it would be thinking about it so soon. Is there such a thing to do? Now Jack's afraid of death. Of course our Jack is afraid of death. Ooh, okay, wait. You know how the goal was to have a ghost child? They never said it couldn't be one of my children that died, that resurrect, and then comes live in my house with me. Me. Listen, Greg Jr. ain't dead, okay? We're gonna turn this around. This is all meant to happen. Everything is fine. We need to do a, like a romantic introduction. Hello, Grim. I know we started off on the wrong foot. Chelsea, get your butt downstairs and seduce Grim Reaper. We don't get a chance like this every day. Grim, pay attention to me. Oh, I'm nervous. What if he leaves? Okay, he's following us upstairs. Don't know why, but he's following us upstairs. Death is following her. We gotta get him interested in us. Let's give him a little flirt. Grim, no, come back, come back. We need to talk with you. Are you single? Grim, sir. Okay, I know you just killed my son, but I've got a good feeling that he's not gone. So he's feeling our baby. She's like, this baby I had with a robot. Our Winterfest was successful. Was it for real? Because like our son died on Winterfest. Right in his day. See, he's seeming to like us. We're feeling very romantic. We're really vibing. All of the kids are going to bed. Forces of evil don't have time for romance. What kind of question is that? Okay, we need our daughter to leave. End the gathering of the children. I am busy. Mom is busy. I'm flattered, but I'm not interested in that type relationship with you, I would be happy to, if you would like to be friends. Wait, no! Grim, Grim, please! We need to have a baby with you. Oh, she's gonna pass out. Oh, God. Seriously? Grim Reaper is not romantically interested in her. Oh my gosh, Grim. Ask about woohoo interests. Come on, Chelsea. Maybe he's not interested in you romantically. That doesn't mean you guys can't woohoo, okay? Be like, what are you interested in in terms of woohoo? No one. And he wants to romance no one. He's aromantic and asexual. How am I supposed to have a baby with him? All right. Now that we've met him, you know, maybe we could figure it out. Maybe he has a Grim Reaper brother who is interested. Either way, we're gonna become Grim Reaper's best friend. Enthuse about the snow, ask about his day, be like, you know, it must be hard. I'm sorry I was so rude to you earlier. And tell him in an unbelievable story, deep conversation. He's paranoid. Oh, okay. Hello, darkness, my old chum. Have a sh simp friend, the Grim Reaper. Now she's friends with the Grim Reaper. They even have a lovely little sentiment closer from happy memories. All right, well, we're exhausted and pregnant. We just got heck of rejected. We're gonna pass out on the floor really quick. Good job. Grim is gonna be like, all right, that's my cue to leave. Oh, well, this was one way to meet the Grim Reaper for this challenge. Very upsetting way, but we're going to strengthen his connection to the physical world. And then we're gonna add him back into our family when we have space. So no worries. Ghost baby, everyone, okay? Then we get Greg Jr. forever. A ghost adult in the house to take care of stuff for me. It's a completely brilliant plan, okay? We're turning that negative into a positive. Grim seems to be a a little bummed out that he had to kill our son too, Chewie. It's so sad. He's crying over Greg Jr. He's like, oh, Greg Jr. was the best. I bet Greg Jr. and Grim would have gotten along. Oh, okay. I should really get going now. See you later. All right. Bye, Grim. Thanks for being here. I'm obviously in denial that I just lost Greg Jr., but it's fine. We didn't really lose him. We're just going to have a ghost. Our ghost son is going to be amazing. All right. That was a really eventful Christmas. Okay. Operation Greg Jr. is a go. Winterfest is over. Get rid of the tree. Ugh, big sigh. Honestly, this is a lot. But we need to get another sim out of the house. So that means you, Sebastian, all right? You need to get out of the house so we can have our ghost son haunting the house. The best thing about ghost son, doesn't need a bedroom. All right, we got school today. It's Thursday, so we need you to hustle, all right? I'm gonna have you do some extra credit work. And then I might have you also do a school project. Everyone's going to school today. We won't have any little ones to age up and work on. Oh, also Leaf did some extra credit. Proud of you, buddy. All right, work carefully on that. Get nice and focus. There you go. And send all the students. Bye, my sons. Oh, my lovely boys. I'm so sorry.
sorry. I love you all so much. I miss you all already. Jack is boogieing down, even though he hates dancing. But he's level two of the dancing skill. Wait, we didn't have a photo of Athena. Maybe Jack will take care of that. Invite Athena over. You need to take a photo of her. Come on in, Athena. Oh, another standardized test. Quinn is almost done when she realizes she skipped a bubble near the top. All of her answers are off. She starts to tell the teacher, but realizes she'll have to take it again. It's really only for the state. Oh, she's gonna turn it in. She's gonna be like, nah, I'm not gonna do it again. Quinn finishes the last few questions correctly and decides to hope for the best. The school likes to brag about its test scores, but how much can one test matter? Unfortunately, the teacher thinks it matters a lot. She decides extra work for the next month to ensure that Quinn catches up. Oh, crap. All right, let's take a photo of you for my mother. Oh God, is Athena flirting with us? Athena, no! What is it with my past lovers and flirting with my children? I get it. My children are attractive because I am attractive. I mean, because Chelsea is attractive, but come on. Amazing. This is Athena, a robot lover. Yes, work the shoulders, Athena. All right, we got some photos of Athena to put on our wall slash table slash bookcases. Let's see which photo we like of Athena. All right, let's go with this first one here. Add a frame and boom. Okay, Athena has joined the ranks. I'm so excited for my ghost son to appear so I can add him to my family. Chelsea's getting a call. A teacher had to break up a fight between Sebastian and another student the whole day. Well, he's acting out because his brother just died. Have them work it out, okay? His brother just died. It's That's gonna be okay. Oh, I forgot also she's pregnant. So not only am I waiting for her to have a baby, but I'm also waiting for her first baby to come home to us. She's having some lovely snacks here. Athena's having some good conversation. She wants to talk of her relationships with Athena. Oh, what are her, your relationship fears? Chelsea feels like she's being cheated on. Chelsea, I have bad news for you. Athena already flirted with your son here. I forgot that Athena's actually her girlfriend. See, look at that. Look at that. Right in front of her. Dude. Uh, oh my gosh. We got to break up. She wants to be best friends with my son. No. She's sad. Look at her. She's like, way not. Talk about relationship fears. Dude, I think you're cheating on me with my son or trying to. Look at you. What are you doing? All right. We're going to accuse her of moving too fast. Chelsea put herself forward and opened a line of communication, but the problems are over. Maybe another day of communicating her worries will finally overcome her fears. Dude, I don't think that's going to work out. She was straight flirting with your son, giving him back massages. It was gross. It was gross, okay? We need to end it. Oh, now Athena's crying in his bed. This is not cool. See, listen, we are non-monogamous. I get it, but don't go flirting with my son. Mm -mm. We're gonna go break up with her. I'm sorry. We can't do this anymore. I'm not sorry. We're breaking up, Athena. I'm sorry. Athena's crying, brokenhearted, shattered. Oh my gosh. The screen crying is very entertaining, actually. Sorry, Athena. You got to get out of my house. My son just died and you are flirting with my other son in front of me in my home. I need you to leave. Jack, meanwhile, is like, I'm chilling. I am loving the lazy life. This life appeals to me. Oh God, he picked out a robot toy to play with Jack. He pressed it to talk and what did it say to him? Hey, that tickles. Ew. All the kids just did okay in school today. I'm not surprised. It was a really rough day at school. <sighs> you poor kids. I just feel so bad. Bad. Leaf is not happy. He's gonna join his brother watching TV. Oh, he's asking about text emergency to Jack. He's like, I texted someone, but they didn't text back in like an hour. He's like, you know what? Yeah, maybe they missed the first one. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Okay, why don't you all kids watch the current channel? Okay, you all need a little bit of fun right now. Bastion's diving in. His hydration was bad. He was mortified. Oh, he's having a mood swing. Oh my boy. He's dried scales. He's mourning his brother. He feels like he's losing control of his life. This guy's going through it. Quinn's taking a little bubble bath. All the kids are so sad. All of my sad, sad kids. I feel so bad for all my kids that are just not handling all of this well. Ooh, why don't you water everything? Let's go. Okay, Hayden, go garden. There's some gardening to do. Go quick into the greenhouse. He's harvesting everything. Then maybe you can sell it, I guess or just grow more when your brother's not around? I don't know. So let's read more of the gardening book. Oh, he's so sad. Hayden, it's okay. You're gonna be fine. Okay, Leaf, why don't you take a quick little shower and then we'll work on your gardening arrangements. Sebastian, how are you doing at school? You're an excellent B student, so why don't we do your homework? Merlin, why don't you go to take a shower, please? Thank you. Wow, I really thought that by now we would see Greg Jr. or my baby at some point. We have not 
not seen them yet. Hayden reached the gardening level two. Good job, Hayden. Oh, Chelsea's in labor. Oh, speak of the devil. Queen, I need you to go have the baby at the hospital, please. We're gonna join her. And we're gonna invite no one because no one is worthy of coming with us. Are you kidding me? And Chelsea's looking ca you in her fit. Look at that. Cool girl, Chelsea. Why don't you go check in at the front desk there, Chelsea? She's like, no, I want to watch TV in the waiting room. Enjoy my pregnancy. No, 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 girl. Go check in at the front desk, please. She's like, hello, I'm here to have my, I don't know how many of the baby, to be honest. I've lost track, but you guys haven't. So thanks for that. All right, here she goes. She hasn't even changed into her dress. She's just going back there. She's like, I know where the room is. I practically gave enough money for all of these pregnancies to build a wing at this point, I'm sure. There she goes. She changed in when she got there. Oh my gosh. Psyche Co is now an elder. Oh my gosh. We're going to outlive our doctor very soon. I'm not looking forward to that. We don't have someone else to get us pregnant. Oh crap. It's okay. We were going to work on the island spirits and then we got distracted by death and Christmas. It's a girl. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I think some of you guys gave me suggestions. I'm going to look them up. A lot of you guys said Eve, which is very cute. Eve Impeachishme is our android baby girl. There we go. Eve has joined the Impeachishme family. Oh, and Chelsea loves baby Eve. Welcome to the family, baby Eve. That is our next occult baby. I think that is nine. How many babies have we had now? We have 12 kids and then we have nine occult kids. We got to kick Jack out and then we can see if we can get pregnant with the Grim Reaper. I was excited for you all to give me a ghost children because I thought that would be really cute. I'm still interested maybe later to add a multiple ghost child. It's just too perfect to have a ghost child here. Oh my gosh, please visit me. I'm just dying to see him. Eve, you go over here. And we also have a new birth certificate for Eve. Here we go. Oh, and she's crying already. Of course you are, Eve. Perfect. A nice, perfect 12. Let's efficiently care for our bebe. Oh, it looks like Leaf is already trying to do that. Oh my God, and he changed the diaper too. Leaf. Wow. Okay. He like is bottle feeding the baby and everything. Wow. What a very responsible boy. Okay. It's finally time to say goodbye to our beloved Jack, our grumpy, lazy, jolly little fellow. We love you, Jack. Jack has been a joy and a half, but we're going to have to move him out in order to see whether or not A, we can add our ghost child back to our family and B, in order to see if we can have a baby with Grimm, you know, as a science experiment. It's gonna be fine. All right, we're gonna add Jack to the family. Oh my goodness, my kids, my babies. I can't believe there was one missing now. That is horrible. I hate that. I hate that Greg Jr. is missing from there, but that's okay because he's coming home. It's fine. He's my ghost child now. As soon as he shows his little ghosty face. I can add him to my family. But good luck, Jack, in the real world. I hope you have fun. Okay, let's see if we can get her pregnant through MC Command Center with Grim. I just wanna see if it's possible. Okay, it's looking like no. So we have to remove his Reaper trait and add him to my family in order to get pregnant with him. So we'd actually need to move out a second kid in order to have, oh my God, enough room for that. But we will figure that out, I think, in the next episode. And we will figure out how to get Greg back into our family next time as well, because we didn't get to see him yet. I had so much fun hanging out with you guys today and i hope you had some fun too so many twists and turns let me know your thoughts in the comments until next time guys i'll see you on the internet very soon bye i'm not in denial whatsoever i'm fine and i've got a plan <laughs>